What's going on YouTube? Mr. 1013 here with the review of the 2013 G.I. Joe um, G.I. Joe Club uh, incentive figure for signing up. The free um, figure we got this year is Iceberg, the Arctic Assault Trooper. This is his first uh, 25th upgrade, I believe. And let's take a look at him. Get a quick 360 of them. All right, quick note just off top. I'm feeling this white iceberg stand. Um, and that'll definitely be something to stand out. You know, that's something different from the rest of your collection. Um, I think that's awesome. But um, let's take a look at the figure now. Um, head sculpt. This is a re-sculpting of the original iceberg head. You can see like the less details in the ears and a lot of people were really kind of like uh, hating that. The fact that this was an old head sculpt and not like a new, you know, a new remoted uh, head sculpt for the figure. Um, it definitely could have been a lot more done, especially, you know, they have the detachable removable goggles now. So that definitely would have been a great addition to have um, for Iceberg. This looks, looks like the Snow Serpent's little uh, fur collar. Um... Take a look at the uh, legs here. Not too familiar with where they may have came from right offhand, but articulation rods real quick. Let's get it hit. Let's get it in. 360 head sculpt. Arms not really hindered. 360. Twist at the elbow. Bend at the elbow. Twist at the wrist. No hinge. Oh, yep, hinge. Wow, hinge on the wrist. Nice. Um, ab crunch, double jointed knees, ankle pivot, spins at the ankle, no rockers though. So, I mean, overall, I mean, it's a pretty cool figure. Um, the pants could have been a little bit baggier, but I mean, after looking at him, I mean, he's not, a, he's not a bad figure at all. Um, definitely, uh like the color scheme and everything real old to the uh, original let's take a look at his accessories that he comes with of course he comes with the the white stand there we go it comes with the white stand he also comes with the um gun with the white wrapping around it um similar to the other uh arctic troopers or arctic characters that um can came with this uh assault rifle white uh, a white rifle stock on there i think we've seen that before too this attaches to this i believe i think this goes right in here yep and then he has his backpack which i believe goes right here <laughs> and he comes with this pretty dope uh snowboard and it has, uh, let's see if we can make this pop. Nice. So, I mean, he comes with some pretty cool accessories. Um, he also comes with um, a small knife, a little bazooka, a little missile launcher, or missile. And let's see if this pistol, uh, I don't think that pistol comes out of there. Let me give you guys a quick look at the file car real quick. You can pause that, you know, check that out to read up on Iceberg. I'm going to give this figure about a, I'm going to give him about an eight and a half, nine. I mean, the head sculpt is really like the main thing. The lack of ears and, I mean, the paint apps are great. Real nice use of um, parts, reuse of parts, uh, which is, um, pants would have been like a little bit baggier, have more of a winter feel to it and less tights. Um, but overall, good figure. Glad to have him a part of the collection and everything as I put him back on the stand. Pa uh, quality, plastic quality feels real solid. So, you know, we get another 
knock out the park. If you want to get a carded figure, I believe he was on the store for like 30 bucks, and the loose bag figure like the one I got was um, $25. So definitely check him out if you want to complete that or um, a Real American Hero line for the um, 25th anniversary style. Other than that, catch y'all on the next video. Peace.